Uncrewed spaceflights to the International Space Station ISS are made primarily to deliver cargo, however several Russian modules have also docked to the outpost following uncrewed launches. Resupply missions typically use the Russian Progress spacecraft, European Automated Transfer Vehicles, Japanese Kunotori vehicles, and the American Dragon and Cygnus spacecraft. The primary docking system for Progress spacecraft is the automated KERS system, with the manual TORU system as a backup. ATVs also use KERS, however they are not equipped with TORU. Progress and ATV can remain docked for up to six months. The other spacecraft—the Japanese HTV, the SpaceX Dragon and the Orbital Sciences Cygnus, Rendezvous with the station before being grappled using Canadarm 2 and berthed at the nadir port of the Harmony or Unity module for one to two months. As of December 2018, Progress spacecraft have flown most of the uncrewed missions to the ISS. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Spaceports. Topic: Baikonur Cosmodrome. Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan is the oldest and busiest spaceport. The first module of the ISS was launched from Baikonur Cosmodrome Site 81 as the uncrewed spacecraft Zarya in 1998 and flew uncrewed for about two years before the first crew arrived. The Progress spacecraft is the most frequent cargo ship sent from Baikonur to the station, bringing supplies such as food, fuel, gas, experiments and parts. Its light payload is offset by its ability to deliver critical replacement parts at short notice. Fresh fruit and vegetables from Earth are an important part of the crew's diet. Tanegashima Space Center Located in Japan on an island 115 kilometers 71 miles south of Kyushu, the Tanegashima Space Center (TCS) is the launch site for H2 transfer vehicle (HTV) called Kunotori, Kunotori Oriental Stork or White Stork, used to resupply the Kibo Japanese Experiment Module (GEM) and the ISS. The name Kunotori was chosen for the HTV by JAXA because, "...a white stork carries an image of conveying an important thing a baby, happiness, and other joyful things, therefore, it precisely expresses the HTV's mission to transport essential materials to the ISS." White Kunotori can carry 6,000 kg of cargo in total, about 3,500 to 4,500 kg £7 of which is accessible by the crew in the pressurized section, the remainder is unpressurized cargo on exposed pallet to be handled by the ISS's robotic arm. Guiana Space Center The European Space Agency ESA uses the Guiana Space Center or, more commonly, Centre Spatial Guyane It is a French spaceport near Kourou in French Guiana. Operational since 1968, it is particularly suitable as a location for a spaceport due to its proximity to the equator, and that launches are in a favorable direction over water. The near equatorial launch location provides an advantage for launches to low inclination or geostationary Earth orbits compared to launches from spaceports at higher latitude. The eastward boost provided by the Earth's rotation is about 463 meters per second, 1520 feet per second, 1035 miles per hour at this spaceport. 
The ESA's automated transfer vehicle weighs 20.7 tons at launch and has a cargo capacity of 8 tons 8,000 kg 1,500 to 5,500 kg 3,300 to 12,100 pounds of dry cargo, up to 1,000 kg 2,200 pounds of water, nitrogen, oxygen, air, with up to two gases per flight, and up to 4,700 kg pounds of propellant for the re-boost and refueling the station. Cape Canaveral Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, located in Florida, USA, has been operational since 1950, with its first orbital launch occurring in 1958. All of NASA's crewed Mercury and Gemini missions were launched from the Cape, along with some of the earlier Apollo missions. Cape Canaveral is adjacent to the Kennedy Space Center, where the majority of Apollo missions and all the Space Shuttle missions were launched from. Under contract with NASA, SpaceX launches the Dragon spacecraft to resupply the American portion of the ISS. The Dragon can transport 6,000 kg of pressurized and unpressurized cargo and can return 3,000 kg to Earth. It is the only uncrewed resupply vehicle capable of returning a payload. <laughs> Mid-Atlantic Regional Spaceport The Mid-Atlantic Regional Spaceport, located at Wallops Island, Virginia, USA, is the launch site for the Northrop Grumman Cygnus spacecraft for resupplying the American portion of the ISS. <laughs> Current and completed spaceflights This is a list of uncrewed spaceflights to the International Space Station. Assembly flights are indicated in bold text. Note: Russia has delivered cargo via the uncrewed missions of progress since the launch of the ISS, while the US had used space shuttles for hybrid human cargo missions, resulting in greater number of Russian uncrewed flights to the ISS. Since the discontinuation of the Space Shuttle program in 2011, the numbers of crewed and uncrewed flights by the US and Russia are more closely matched. Carrot for vehicles that are berthed to the station using the Space Station Remote Manipulator System SSRMS the times of berthing and unberthing are given. These vehicles remain physically attached to the station longer than indicated when counting the time between initial SSRMS capture and release. Currently, the Japanese HTV, the SpaceX Dragon and the Orbital Sciences Cygnus are the visiting vehicles to attach in this manner. For all other vehicles the times of docking and undocking are given. <laughs> Future space flights Scheduled future flights are shown below. <laughs> See also List of space flights to the International Space Station List of human space flights to the International Space Station List of International Space Station spacewalks List of International Space Station visitors List of progress flights Comparison of space station cargo vehicles Cargo spacecraft Topic: External links. NASA ISS Consolidated Launch Manifest. ESA ISS Consolidated Launch Manifest. SpaceX Launch Manifest. Orbital Cygnus Launch Manifest. Russian Launch Manifest.